So, Joe, last week or the week before, you said, hey, Tom, you going to watch that new R.L. Stein movie <laughs> with Dan Aykroyd and Chevy Chase? Fuck no. I don't give a shit about that. So instead, I watched that new R.L. Stein movie with Dan Aykroyd and Chevy Chase. I put it on. Credits come up. Bruce McCulloch. What? No, it didn't say that. Scott Thompson. What? Am I fucking drunk? <laughs> what the fuck did I put on? This is this is fucked. All right, I'm just seeing shit. So it starts out with like a movie within a movie. It's like a parody of a zombie movie. And Chevy Chase is playing an Indiana Jones type. And uh, he's saving a zombie necklace that'll fucking keep the zombies away or turn you back or some shit. And uh, Dan Aykroyd's the guy who made the movie. He lives in this town now. And uh, they're going to have a screening of his movie at the local theater. <sighs> Turns out, Joe, Bruce McCullough, and uh, Scott Thompson, two of the kids in the hall, are in fact in this movie. Old Bruce is a cop, and old Scott owns a uh, bike shop. Okay, <laughs> I'm sure fucking ch ah, children these days give a fuck about the kids in the hall and Dan Aykroyd and Chevy Chase and R.L. Stein for that matter. That's why you make this fucking movie. So uh, turns out old Dan Aykroyd shot on magical film created by Thomas Edison. And not only will it, were it made the people who acted in the movie real zombies, so they were real zombies in the movie. But if you watch it, it'll turn you into a zombie too. Or not even that; it just sends out like a burst of light. And then if you see the light, it'll turn you into a zombie. But it's not like, oh, well, let me eat you, zombies. It's just like, no, I'm going to kind of grab you by the shoulders and my eyes will glow and then your eyes will glow and you're a zombie now. Spooktacular! This was fucking embarrassing. Like, <laughs> all around. Uh, yeah, this, like, cheap as fuck. Uh, I feel like... I could pay Dan Aykroyd to act in something that I make. Or, hey, Dan Aykroyd, you want to come on the fucking podcast? I got twenty three fifty. Uh Chevy Chase is barely in it. Dan Aykroyd, he's pretty much in it for the most part. He's a secondary character, but I mean, that's still better than just being in like two scenes being the fucking like actor in a movie in a movie and saying you're starring in it so that was fucked uh didn't give a fuck about the characters who gave a shit at all the people making the movie didn't that's for sure it's just really garbage and embarrassing it's rated pg-13 but it comes off like it was made for babies <laughs> like it would be like some Nickelodeon movie, like actual shit for like maybe seven year olds or something. Then again, why the fuck would they care about IRL Stein, Chevy Chase, Dan Aykroyd, the kids in the hall? Uh, this was just really fucking bad. Like it started out, I was just like, oh, all right. I, I you know I see where they're going. They're making like a, a love letter to horror movies for kids, like a like a gateway movie for them to get. And then it just fucking nose dove and kept sucking all the dicks in the room, and it's just fucking really bad and really embarrassing. And god damn, like fuck, really, really shit. 
Really shit, Joe. Where'd you watch this? Is it streaming? Yeah. Uh, let Lisa know that I appreciate it. This is streaming on Hulu. <laughs> okay. So if you want, if you have Hulu and want to watch this, uh, don't because I obvious it's not even like funny to be like, ha ha. It's, it's oh. So Hulu? yeah. <laughs> I fucking guess, but yeah, this is uh, fuck. It's embarrassing. That's that's like the perfect fucking word for it. It's a goddamn embarrassment. This fucking movie for sure. Uh fuck. Would recommend. 